Hi guys, it's the Black Bonsai Guy, and I'm back here again today. Today I'll be um, pulling my pomegranates. I wanted to leave them on to mid-November, but the other day I saw one that split. It was still good inside, but I wanted to get these off the tree as fast as I can. So I figured I'd shoot a little video to show y'all guys. Let's get to it. So here's one that actually bust open. Let me open this bag up right quick. Give me a second. I like pulling them late or mid-November because I think that's when they get the ripest. But you run into them busting. And this one bust. Now, you know me. I'm still gonna eat that thing. Cause I don't I had a uh organza bag on there. So there's no bugs or anything inside there. You know what I mean? It's all good. We'll eat that one today. So let me put this down and I'll be back. Alright, let me get back up in there and start pulling. So that's one. This one has two in it. This is five and six. Again, another one bust open, so we'll eat that in the next day or so. Eleven. Twelve. This one bust open. We got 14 off that batch. Let me rotate my camera. Got 14 off that batch. Um, that is four pomegranate trees. I think uh, the first one is the oldest. It produced nine. Uh, last year was the first year. I got, I think, one or two. And this year it gave me nine growing in a, a container. But I stepped it up to a bigger container um early spring so i expect that tree to give me like at least 30 fruit next season and then the uh, other pomegranates 
I will put those in bigger containers so that they can step up. So I got four uh, pomegranate trees right now. I gave, uh, I think, two away. Um, but eventually, if all four of them are giving me 30 fruits each, I mean, that's, that's more than enough pomegranate for me. Um, but I will still be buying three more through TEP. These are all TEP trees. So uh, let's pause for a second, bring all this inside, and have a look. All right, guys, I'm back inside, so now I'm going to uh, open up these bags and have a look at it. Uh, this is the one that I showed you earlier that bust open. Looking good, looking good. I'm going to go ahead on and taste this. I'm not worried about uh, this rotting or anything because pomegranates, they are resilient to fruits. Um, you know, of course, I just cut that thing in juice when everywhere, but you don't generally get, uh, when they bust open, they generally don't rot, especially if you, uh, you keep organza bags on them. So, uh, let me have a taste. This is actually my second for the season. Let me get most of this into the camera. Let me just peel some of this off. I know someone said they never had pomegranates before, but basically it's just a sack of, of a whole bunch of seeds. And, um, you know, they're full of, full of juice, nutrients, all that good stuff. I just uh, kind of peeled it a little bit, that yellow part. Um, I, I eat a little bit of that. It's kind of like the inside of an orange peel, but let's see what this works with. Oh man, that's fire. Super sweet and full of juice. So let's see. Let's see what the season yielded me. Look at that. That's a big boy right there. Excuse me. <clears throat> this came off of the trees that I got. I think at the beginning of this year. A little baby. I don't expect much to be in there, but still gonna be eight. Yeah, it did. Here's another one that's starting, <coughs> excuse me, it's starting to buzz open. I'll make sure. <clears throat> You gotta pardon me. Some of that uh, juice went down the wrong, the wrong hole, as they say. <clears throat> but the ones, <clears throat> well, let me get my mind right. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. What I was saying was the ones that are uh, split open. Those are gonna be the ones I eat uh, probably this weekend. The other ones will be washed and they'll get placed in the refrigerator. And uh, pomegranates can last a while. They can last a while. As long as you don't bust open and you don't have any uh, birds peck at it. Another baby that came off the newer tree. All good. <clears throat> what do we have here? How y'all been doing out there, man? Work been treating y'all right? Working hard or working smart? It's been hectic around here. I keep it a band with you. It's been hectic. Another one that bust open. Fruit's still good inside though. So that's three. Oh, we got four that split open. I probably waited a little too late. <clears throat> I gotta research what really causes them to split open. I'm assuming it's um, the fruit. It's ripening and taking up too much moisture and it just busts that sack. <clears throat> so maybe next year I'll pull them a week early or something. You know what I mean? Again, another one that bust open. Let me get these. It's two in this one. Got one in good condition. Let me cut that off. My lopper. <clears throat> I 
perfect condition now. So remember, I'm growing these in containers, so you're going to have some variation uh, the first couple of years when you're growing some fruit. Now here, here's one that bust open again, and you can kind of see right here, uh, one of the pomegranate seeds is kind of dried out. Don't, don't throw that away. Eat that. Dry pomegranate seeds, especially when it's dried by the sun and not going through any, uh, you know, processing. Those are some of the most nutritious, dense foods you can get. And if the sun helped you out and you don't see no fungus mold bacteria growing on it and you had it in an organza bag, by all means, have at it. <coughs> have at it. Cut this off. Another good one. So it looks like the split ones um, may, I don't know, I gotta finish doing the final count. One that came off the first year tree, first year fruiting. Not bad. And pomegranates are going to sleep right now. They're starting to turn yellow. And they have, uh, they look great when they turn yellow. So what we want to do when they start to wake back up, we're going to repot, get them into bigger containers. We're going to give them lots of food so they can uh, yield bigger fruit. And a little small one. And I think this is the last. Yep. Go ahead and cut that off. Boom. So we got one, two, we got one, two, three, four good ones. Good size ones, right? And we got four miniatures. Hopefully you can see that. So that's eight that did not bust open and then on this side we got one that bust open two that bust open oh i'm sorry we got nine this is a good one nine good ones and four that bust open so this is five that bust open i got one over there as well so let me just recount i got one over there this is five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen now if you were to buy pomegranates in a store, 14 pomegranates in a store, you know how much that's going to run you. It's going to run you a lot of money. Um, these trees, <laughs> what's crazy about it, I spent $5 each on these trees. So to uh, have that type of yield on a uh, 15 or actually $20, $20 investment, you would have spent that definitely in the store. So I'm going to finish eating these up clean up a bit, wash them off, and um, just wanted to share this uh, pomegranate harvest with you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you are in Tucson, make sure you, uh, and you have TEP as your electric provider, make sure you go ahead and uh, go pick you up some pomegranate trees. Talk to you later. It's the Black Bonsai Guy. I'm out.